Welcome to the first podcast on how to use the Zoom H2 Handy Recorder. We are going to look at how to power the unit, basic functions and how to transfer and save your recorded files onto the computer. But first you may be wondering why it is important to use the device when the video camera will also record sound. Have a look and listen to this closely. As you can hear, the camera recorded sound is low quality and has a lot of noise and hiss. This is why we encourage you to use the H2 unit for your project. Also, professional productions always record sound using external equipment. The H2 handy recorder can be mains or battery powered. The mains adapter is included in your AV pack. Simply plug it into the socket on the left hand side of the unit. On the reverse of the unit is a battery cover which slides down and off. After replacing the batteries, make sure the cover is in position correctly before sliding back on. Also included in your AV pack is a spare pair of batteries and charger. Make sure you charge the batteries before you film, especially outdoors. First, ensure you attach the headphones to the headphone socket above the power switch. To switch on the H2, slide the power switch up. By using the on-screen menu system, ensure that the monitor is set to on. You should now be able to hear what the unit is recording. It is important to monitor this at all times as the unit is very sensitive and may pick up sounds that your ears may not. Also, check that the file format is set correctly to MP3 320. Next, you will need to set which mic configuration you will be using. The ones you will need are either front or rear. Do not use the surround modes. The mic is set using two arrow keys either side of the menu button. The red mic active light will indicate which mic is being used. Once set, make sure that the side selected is facing the sound source you want to record. Press the record button once and the red light will flash. This is record ready mode. You can now set the level to be recorded by first using the gain selector on the right hand side of the unit. This has three positions, low, medium and high and this determines how much the signal is boosted by. Medium will in most cases be the best to use. Low is for when the sound source is very loud and high is for when it is very quiet. Set the gain, then test your sound source. For example, get your actors to practice their lines. You should be aiming for halfway or three quarters on the level meters. The meter should not reach the top as this can cause distortion on your recording. If necessary, adjust the gain switch again, then use the fast forward and rewind keys to find adjust the recording level. Make sure you test with the loudest your sound will be. For example, in a scene where somebody shouts, test when they are shouting, not when they are talking normally. Once you are happy with the levels, press record again and the red light will go solid. You are now recording. You may notice that whilst you are recording, the name of the file is displayed on the screen. Write this down as all the files are automatically named and there may be previous groups still on the unit. If you don't, you may have to listen through them all to identify which is your recording, which will take up valuable time. To stop recording, simply press the record button once again. When finished, always power down the unit using the power switch. Do not remove the batteries or the power cable until completely shut down. When connecting to the PC, first of all ensure it is powered off correctly. Insert the supplied USB cable in the bottom right hand side and plug into the USB port on the computer. 
The H2 will power up and ask you to choose an option. Select Storage. When connected, the H2 screen will show a USB symbol. If this does not appear, disconnect and try again. Open the drive up through My Computer or select Open Folder to view files on the Autoplay dialog box. The unit will contain a number of folders on the memory card. The default is 01 and this is where your recordings will be. Copy them from the H2 and onto your Z drive. 